Hey Knights! So this is the box for September, which is the role-playing theme, which is RPG, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know where to start. There's so much stuff. Uh, let's start with this really long blue one, which is a soda gum. Uh, it says here, we love Japanese gum as we feel that like the flavors are so different compared to Western ones. One of your favorite flavors is soda. This gum is refreshing and makes you feel like we just had a sip of ramen. It feels like there's more than one piece in here. Like there's multiple pieces of candy in there. Uh, random grab. This one looks like... Uh, lucky Corn Puffs. So these are the Lucky Corn Puffs. Um, according to the Japanese description of this snack, these sweet and savory corn puffs take the taste like happiness and will bring you luck if you eat it. We think it tastes more like sweet corn pottage. What do you think? Yummy. Yummy looking. Uh, let's see. Got a cute little kitten one here. The packaging kind of makes me think of uh, cotton candy. I just got to find its picture in here somewhere. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Um, this is the Osanbo Watagashi, um, a popular find at Matatsuri Watagashi is Japanese cotton candy. I was right! It's cotton candy. It's cotton candy. I think I've had this before. Um, this Wakatashi comes in a cute animal print bag and is denser than your usual cotton candy. It has a very nostalgic taste, don't you think? And it's got a cute little kitten on it. Meow. I think that's a kitten. It looks like a kitten. There's a little alien on it, and it looks like a turd. Um, this is a Mugi Choco Bar. Crunchy and creamy, Moogie Choco Bar was a favorite among the chocolate fans in the J.C. office. Puffed wheat is covered in milk chocolate to create a bar that is satis that will satisfy your sweet tooth. If I didn't read this, I wouldn't have not thought it was chocolate because it looks kind of like a turd with tumors. But that's just the packaging. Like the book, can't judge it by the cover. Uh, let's go with this one. It looks like a cute little key. This is a Kagaki Choco. Oh, so these are the same ones from last month, but um, in the shape of a key. This candy is an old favorite at da Dagashi shops. The packaging is in a key shape as the name Kagatko is the Japanese version of Latchkey Kid. Many children who have worked parents carry who have carry have working parents carry a house key, so this candy is supposed to resemble that. They look like mini M&Ms. That's what they or Skittles, but they're supposed to be chocolate, so I'd say M&Ms. I have a key of M&Ms. <laughs> uh, let's do this strawberry looking one because it's got strawberries all over it. This is um, Tagako Strawberry Mugi. Simple but so addicting. Tagako. Tagako. I can't speak Japanese. <laughs> strawberry Mugi is another Dangishi shop staple. Milky strawberry flavored chocolate and crunchy wheat puffs make an easy snack that's delicious. So it kind of sounds like. The choco bar, but strawberry instead of chocolate. Or a strawberry chocolate ish. Uh, what's next? 
potato chips. Osatusu doki salt and butter flavored. Nope, that's not it. Okay, potato chips, black pepper. If you like to add pepper to everything you eat, you're going to love these. These chips are a nice change from your usual potato chip. Some of our staff think this chip tastes like fried chicken, but others say it's like barbecue. What do you think? And I am literally reading it word for word off of this. This is one I'll probably not like. Milk and coffee. I don't like coffee. Um, this is the Mugi Pond Milk Coffee flavor. In Japanese convenience stores and vending machines, you can find coffee flavored milk. These airy wheat puffs have a milky coffee flavor to them and taste great if you like them like a if you eat them like a cereal. Ooh, I'm gonna try that now. That's gonna be my breakfast. <laughs> um Ooh, this one looks yummy. Chi Wing Straw Candies Cola flavor. They kind of look a lot like, um, I want to say Airheads, but that's not it. Um, the candy that you get at the movie theaters that, like, you rip the, they're the strips, the, the sour strips. Can't think of the name at the moment, but that's what these look like. Um, Chu, in Japanese, is a sound effect for two things, a kiss and when you drink out of a straw. This candy's name is a pun, as these sour cola-flavored candy straws are chewy, but also the sourness will make you make your face pucker. Chew wing sour candy straws. Get it? I find that hard. It's very hard for things to be sour for me, but they really look like the candy that we would get at, like, the movie theater. Uh, let's go with the green bag here. Everyone Cookie Matcha Flavor. The name may be Everyone Cookie, but we wanted to change it to My Cookie. These soft mocha mochata cookies have a chocolate filling and they are so yummy that you may not want to share. That's perfectly fine. We didn't want to share them either. Um, to be honest, at first glance, I thought this was like green tea type cookie with like something else in the middle that I couldn't figure out so I don't know how to describe what that would be like it actually does look yummy now that I think about it now that I've read the description okay so this is the salt and butter flavored chips um, golden and crispy these chips are made with sweet potatoes ooh that's really healthy uh, the texture is th thicker than the usual potato chips and have a rich, buttery flavor. The big crunch and interesting flavor make the chips makes made this chip one of our favorites. I love it. I've always found it interesting that there's more air than chips in bags. I guess that do that also stands for Japan as well. Um, the soda. And from the look of it, it kind of looks like pineapple and mango. That's what it makes me think of. Just from the picture. Ha! I was right! Okay. So this is a shua shua pineapple and mango soda. Summer vacation is over, but the bright pineapple and mango flavor of this bubbly soda will bring a bit of summer back to you. Take a sip and close your eyes. Can you feel the sun and hear the waves of the ocean? I was right. There was pineapple and mango. I'm excited now. It's going to be awesome. So this box actually did come with two extra things. So for an anniversary bonus, a Polte USA Loppy Squeaker. As part of our two-year celebration, All Japan Creates include this cute bonus item that is part of its own mini-game. Pot USA Lapi is one of the kawaii characters of a Japanese arcade prize maker, Asume. She's a cute little bunny with big loppy ears. 
We hope you enjoy playing with these squeaky guys as much as we do. And I got a blue one, and it squeaks. It goes squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> um, and then there is a lucky scratch ticket. Um, it says, after vanquishing the featured Moko Wash villain, Ayanka and JK were able to use this, the magical candy key to unlock the treasure. Complete the quest by scratching off the layer of silver below to reveal your prize. You'll find anything from new TV to special discounts to a brand new online store. Use this discount for more of your favorite snacks to boost your HP for the next adventure. Okay, so I'm going to use my awesome skull knife to scratch this off real quick. I know that one of the prize just happens to be, uh, I think it's like a year supply of Japan crates, which would be nice. Okay. Ah, it's so shiny. I got 25% any off any purchase from our new online store. Yay! I guess save. Okay, so up next and last is the do-it-yourself kit. I'll need you. Okay, Moco 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 Wash do-it-yourself kit. Kind of looks cute. A new release in Japan, Moko Moko Wash is a quirky do-it-yourself kit that has you make a yogurt-flavored drink in a washing machine. Add the soap and water in the machine and set it to s on the spin cycle. For, in <laughs> for instructions, go to page 13. Okay. So, I pretty much am make making yogurt that's drinkable in a washing machine. It'll be a very interesting part of this video. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the inside. Got all of these random things in here. Oh, so many pieces. No, look at the pictures, the, the cute little stickers. Okay, I need to build my washing machine. I was a little anticlimactic. So that's the body. Okay, so it says that this is one. Needs to go here, like so. Ah! Okay. Uh, this is three. I guess this is like the spin thingy. Where the food will be made. Four is the actual... Oh, there And five is the spoon or the scoop. So now I've officially made a little mini washing machine. And I get to decorate it now. So step two is decorate. Come put a right there. Go put an eye right there. Let's 
gonna be a little crooked, but I don't care. Urgh. Can't get the eyebrows off. I'm gonna make it look really weird, because I'm weird like that. Urgh. It's sticking everywhere. I've got many stickles. Oh my god, it looks so smug. <laughs> I have a little smug. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have to fill with water to water line. What water line? There's no water line in here, though. Okay. Adding water. So jiggly. Two scoops over this end. Okay, got one. And two. Ah, I'm spilling. Close lid. Spin, spin, spin. So, got the cute little thing there. I've got water and powder in the top, and so I'm supposed to spin it. Whee! Oh, it's kind of dizzying. I can't watch that. I should have put a towel down. I'm making a mess. I think I may have put too much water in here. Oh, I'm slowly watching the thing go away. It looks so weird. I'm spilling water on myself right now. I don't know if I'm doing it right. It looks like it. Doesn't look like water and powder anymore. Okay, I'm gonna say it's safe to open. Ooh, okay. So, that's what it looks like. Um. Holy cow, that's really sweet. Okay. It tastes like marshmallow. That's weird. So this frothy looking drink tastes like marshmallow. Alrighty. Peace out, knights. <laughs>